that that had happened in the alleyway between Greenville and Mount Pleasant. There's someone was at. They had the 22 heading over there. So the crime scene uh, response team has arrived, and they went up. They actually went up that way, so they're up there. Yeah, we do have a couple calls from uh, 911. One caller said they heard a car taking off, but nothing on the vehicle. That was a uh, 25 miles. We got, a lot, we got a lot of stuff going on in the city today. I'm not sure what, what time is it anyway. This the time right now is. 12 a.m. Which would be November the 7th, Saturday morning. And so much activity going on. And I'm not too sure why, but I might try to get on the other side over uh, here too. We do not have vehicles, uh, but we can probably use a couple of. Uh, I think we have a couple of vehicle crews that we could probably transfer people back and forth where you need it. Um, it looked like there was multiple shots fired. Uh, not, it looked like it started up that way and ended up down here. That was about maybe an hour ago. So this here, I'm going to try to get down to that other end down there, which, which is the other side of the the other side of uh, center. So. The length of the street, and I will call off the intersections as they need to be filled. Yankee Bravo, we have services for that. He's got extra bodies, maybe for a line search, search if you need them. We'll, we'll hang on to it. Captain, we have a uh, homicide up here, and uh, we just, as soon as they straighten things out, I'll ask them and, and see uh, what they want to do with that. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get on the other side over there. Give you some footage of that area. So they're working another call in Bravo, um, where they hit 12, 12, 12 shots fired in Mount Pleasant Street. I think it was 49 that came across. Or 28, and they said, not a saying 28. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the city. Bravo, 201. So, area E's, I'm in area E. I might take a ride over to Bravo. I'm getting a description from the specials over here saying that there's a Chrysler 300, gray in color, going down blue at a high rate of speed. Oh, so that car isn't questioning. Chrysler 300 going down with 11 high rate of speed. Alright, let's go see if we can get on the side right quick. Back up that way. Alright, so we're at the corner of. Uh, um, I think we're going to leave uh, Center and Sunnyside uncovered because it's a one way going away from Center Street. But um, we can have, uh, we're going to leave that one uncovered for now. I'll let you know where the next intersection. So they got okay, this area all blocked off as okay. well. No, no cars can go up there. I don't know if they say no pedestrians, but I'll check and find out. Bravo 915. 909. So they... If there's a cruiser available that can block it, find him, I'll put it. Just wait after one traffic. Yeah. Now... There's not much up there to see, but um, maybe we can take a quicker look, a closer look before we um, head up out of here.
this is, like I said, this is center in Columbus. Center in Columbus is where a lot of this activity is. Um, I'm going to walk up to the train station and see what we see. B2, we have EMS uh, waiting for us to respond. Uh, 25 Ruth and sent us an EDP female that uh, they said took some acid. Uh, family is trying to uh, calm her down there. She's yelling the screen. This is almost the city that never sleeps. Listen. Bravo 115, can I uh, use you for that 25 roof then? With the, uh, with the MS? That sounds like another team responding over here. Send it down. Take it. Let's switch that to another one. said Boston police has a very very busy day today I don't know if it's a full moon out or not but it's very busy out here a lot of people are going to be coming home from work and they're going to be seeing like the half their city roped off I'm going to walk as far as the tape is for you. That might be that might be Rachel Rollins that came out of that car. I'm not sure. Let me find out. It's possible that it could be her. I'm not saying that it is, but we'll find out when I get down there. sides of the uh, of the crime scene here. Like I said, that, that, could, that could be Rachel Rollins. I'm not 100% sure. But... Nine, three, nine. Nine, eight, three, you check with Captain Dan Alecki and see if he can spare one EDT to meet us at 374 Center Street. Yankee Bravo 4, we have a, um, a unit, a, a rapid sending up. Escorting the DA up there right now. After they escort the DA up there, they can grab so, so that, that is Rachel Rollins, and so that is Rachel Rollins in that car right there. She's going around. She's going around the other way there. 
No, you got no. Those guys get a tough job. They got to get up three, four o'clock in the morning, into calls, come out and. Jake, uh, 902. Do you still want to use this up here at the station? No. So I guess Richard Rollins is heading up to the other side over there, where the um. My question is, what do they propose to do about this? Because okay, thanks. I think they may utilize them when when we get to the point where they want to conduct a search, but they can hang tight for now. Thank you. Just giving you guys some. We're at 265 Center Street. Right, right there, 265 Center Street, Bromley Heath Housing Development. I, I believe they still call it Bromley Heath. Used to call it Heath Street Projects, but um, so that's pretty much what's going on over here. But This this wastes a lot of man hours because they gotta block off the streets and it's tying them up from other calls that they can be possibly doing. But it's it's a day in the city. It's another day in the city. Let's take a quick walk and see what's on the other side right quick. Like this area has changed a lot as far as the violence. It was well, it depends on where you're measuring it from. If you're measuring it from the last five years, it's gotten a little worse. If you're measuring it from the, like the last twenty or thirty years, you might say it's, it gotten it has gotten better. So it all depends on how you're measuring it, the, the time frame. Ruggles train's heading to Ruggles. No, as he's heading to um, Rocks Bay Cross. Give you another look from a distance. This this might take this might go all the way to like one two o'clock in the morning because by the time they gather all the evidence and bag it and tag it and mark it and everything and, and you know, it takes it, it takes a while. Nine hundred nine one hundred three seventy four center. Got One fifteen. Uh yeah, put a push on you, but she's naked and she's freaking out. Okay, they're on the way. I'll, I'll have them put a push on them. Thank you. Connor, are you all set? Yep, I'm fine. It's just, you know, one of those situations. Once the table looks like they just hit the on-team button. Yep, there. Thank you. All right, so this... 
This area is getting, getting like, how you say, it, back in the day. Can I get the I number and what address are we using for this? Mount Pleasant. Yes, sir, Mount Pleasant. We have an S41 Mount Pleasant. We want to change it. Uh, 20 wants to change it to 20. So the I number is uh, 2020 181. 41 Mount Pleasant. I have that, thank you. Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to head up out of here. I think I got enough footage for today. If anything else comes up, I'll be sure to put it back on and show you guys what's going on. Rob, you're going to start. Pontiac and Hillside coming in for uh, possible shots there. College, they heard about 20 shots in the area there. Any shots for evacuation? Uh, not so far. So Any it. secondary calls? Negative. Is this a number you're familiar with? Is this a common caller? Uh, I can check the phone number somewhere. It sounded like fireworks, Bravo, but it could be. It could have been uh, gunshots. It was a. It was a Just from over here, Mount Pleasant, we heard uh, a series of bombs that sounded a lot like fireworks going from that direction. Okay, possible fireworks. They definitely sound like fireworks, but I'm not too sure. They sometimes mix them in. I heard it when I was coming up here myself. It was like a series of like 20 back to back. Bravo 4. Change it right. Just checking. Uh, all our ETs are on the uh, overnight code, right? Correct? I'm uh, showing all our ETs. Okay, thank you. So all the detectives have arrived. Bernard and Nightingale is Information from the 93 home staff. They have a person shot outside there on the field. Yes, sir, I 
Adrian, please have the nine number, nine number here for um, Christmas tree. Charlie B, for what it's worth, is a woman and associate that lives in 94. Associates live at 94, right across the street, for what it's worth. Okay, follow them. So, pretty, pretty much nothing else to really see other than the fact that they're guarding a, um, a crime scene. In 105, just fireworks. Okay, sir, fireworks. And... Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. If anything comes up, uh, be sure to report back to you guys.